Good morning, everyone. I'm Jennifer Weiss with Limber Lama Yoga. Let's go do some yoga. So go ahead and come to lie down on your mat. We're going to set up our legs in Bhakanasana, so heels together, knees are going to open wide, and you can bring props underneath the legs if that feels better. And just go ahead and rest the hands on the belly. Either closing the eyes or just softening the gaze. And taking a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Breathing in. And out. Feeling the weight of the body. And just coming in tune with what your body needs today. Taking in one more breath. Slowly using your hands. Go ahead and help the knees come together. And then just allow your body to roll to one side. And we're going to come all the way up to sit. And again, bringing those feet back into uh, Baddha Konasana into Kabla Pose. So the soles of the feet are together, the knees are out wide, and just sitting up tall. Um, if hips are still tight, feel free to sit on a block, on a pillow, on a blanket, and then just bringing the hands beside the hips, press down, lift up, extend the spine. And then bringing the knees together, begin to lean back as you either keeping the feet on the ground for boat pose or lifting the feet up. Navasana. Spine is long. Bring the feet down, open the knees out. Press the hands behind you. Sit up nice and tall. And here we go. We're going to rock between these two poses right here. Boat and cobbler pose. So think about lengthening the spine. Drawing the navel in as it helps reach and support you up. Bring the feet down. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale as you shift back. Exhale into the pose. And then shifting forward, inhale, rising up. And exhale. So a little change here. Again, feet can be down on the mat, up in the air. Hands either out in front, or we're now going to take them both to the right side. So feel that twisting action as you lift up and over. Bring the hands to the center. Twist to the left. Baddha Konasana, sit up tall. And one more time twisting. So bringing those knees up, taking both hands to the left side. Reach up out of the hips, extend through the crown of the head. Take it to the other side. Set everything down. Bhadakanasana. Pressing down, lengthening up. And then for a moment, getting to fold forward a little or a lot. Let 
walk with the hands up, help the knees up. We're gonna sweep those legs behind us, coming on to hands and knees. So warming up our spine, warming up our core. Let's take a deep breath in, arching the back, gazing forward. And then as you exhale, draw the navel in, begin to round the spine, dropping the head between the arms. Inhale, shoulder blades slide back as you look forward. Exhale, rounding up. One more. And then as you come forward, coming to a neutral spine, so not overarching or over rounding, but finding that sweet spot in the middle, curling the toes under. So we're keeping that neutral spine, engaging the core. So go ahead and begin to feel the belly drawing in, and then just hovering the knees just an inch above the mat, press into the hands, engage and then lift up and back, downward facing dog. From here, come back down onto your knees. And again, we're finding that neutral spine. So not overarching, not over rounding, feeling nice and strong through the core, press into the Toes, begin to hover the knees, press into the hands, help lift up. And then shifting up and back, downward facing dog. Let's do one more of those. So bringing the knees down, playing with that neutral spine. So keeping those natural curves, drawing all the way around your torso to find that lift. Toes curl under, knees hover, pause here, breathe. Another breath, lift it up and back. Downward facing dog. From your down dog, we're gonna walk all the way to the top of the mat, folding over the legs. Hands can stay on the mat, on the legs. Knees can soften, but allowing that head and neck to hang and relax. Come all the way up to stand. Extend the arms up and over the head. Release the hands beside the body. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And then exhale, begin to sit back. So we're drawing that belly in just like we did on our hands and knees. Shifting our hips back, knees, just behind the toes, arms are up by the ears or straight out in front for chair pose. From here, we're gonna bring both hands down to the mat, step the right foot back into a high lunge or warrior one. So either on the ball of that back foot, lift both arms up, high lunge, Bring the hands down. Right hand is gonna stay on the mat or a block. Left arm is gonna open into a twist. So keep lifting up out of the hips and pressing that left foot back. Breathe in. And out. Bring that top arm down. Step back, downward facing dog.
anchoring through the hands, through the knuckles. From here, we're gonna sweep that right foot right back up to the sky. Hug the knee into the belly. Step the right foot between the hands. And again, option here of high lunge or warrior one. So either grounding that back foot or staying up on the ball of the foot. Lift both arms up. High lunge. Circle the arms down to the mat. Lift the back foot as you begin to step forward. So passing through some standing splits. Bring the left leg down to meet the right. And pause. Rising up halfway, pressing into the shin. Spine is nice and long. Refold. Come all the way up to stand. Taking the arms up and over the head. And into the heart. Taking the arms up. Begin to sit back, chair pose again. So you're kind of drawing that navel in, but not heart knee so much. Arms again, up or out in front. You can even have bend in the elbows. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Fold forward. We're gonna lift that left foot up, step it back into the lunge. High lunge, warrior one, sweeping both arms up. Circle the arms down to the mat. Left hand's gonna stay on the mat or to a block. Right arm will reach out to the right and up to the sky, bringing you into a twist. Feel that lift into the left quads and then press that left foot back. Bring the top arm down. We're gonna step all the way back, downward facing dog. The hips are staying high. Feel the extension and length through the spine. Next breath, left leg will reach up to the sky. Hug the left knee in. Step the foot between the hands. High lunge or warrior one. So extending both arms up. Reach up, breathe in. Bring both hands down. We're gonna pass through standing splits. Hands can come to props. Hands can come to the leg. Hands can come to the mat. Bring the right foot down. Fold over the legs. Rising up halfway. And folding. Come all the way up. Extend the arms up and over the head. Bringing them down. And adding on to our sequence. So we'll take both arms up. Sitting back into chair pose. So almost feel as though you're hugging in through the navel. Sending the tailbone back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, we're gonna twist. So bringing our hands to prayer, we're gonna slowly begin to twist our chest towards our right, either bringing hands to the outside of the leg or hooking our elbow to the outside of the knee. Nice deep breath in. Deep breath out. 
and then bringing more weight into that right foot. See if you can step the left foot back into that high lunge. So staying in our twist, we're gonna slowly unwind, float the arms back. So staying at a diagonal, either in warrior one or in our high lunge, our crescent lunge. And then feel the front of the hip begin to open as you slowly upright the torso and add the arms. Nice job, everyone. Bring both hands down to the mat. Left hand will stay, right arm will reach up and open. From here, right hand down, step it back, downward facing dog. Same right leg reaches up to the sky. Draw that right knee into the belly. Step the right foot between the hands. Crescent lunge. Bring both arms up. Pressing and staying long through that back leg. And then from here, beginning to shift forward and either passing through standing splits or warrior three. We're trying to level out those hips, staying long through the spine, and then everyone bringing left leg down, right, or both hands down, fold over the legs. Press the hands into the shins, lengthen the spine. Go ahead and refold. Come all the way up, reach the arms up and over the head. Hands to the heart and down into mountain. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, sit back, Ch uh, chair pose. And now moving into that twist, so bringing the hands to the heart, turning your torso over to your left side. Hands can come to the outside of the leg or you could hook your elbow to the outside of the knee. Setting up chair, twisted chair. Press, see if you can lengthen your spine here. And now bringing that weight over into the left foot, we're gonna step the right foot back into a lunge. Pause in our twisted lunge. You got this. And then we'll slowly begin to turn forward Extend the arms back, so staying at that diagonal. And then slowly beginning to upright the torso, adding the arms. Fantastic job. We're going to bring both hands down to the mat. Right hand will stay, left arm will open into the twist. From here, both hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Enjoying one more breath. Sweep that left leg up to the sky. Draw the knee in, step forward. Crescent lunge, lifting both arms up. And then from here, we're gonna begin to shift forward and either passing through standing splits or 
all the way up, warrior three. Hands can also come down to blocks or to the mat for either variation. And then bringing the right foot down, bringing the hands down, bow over the legs. Slide the hands up halfway and refold. We're going to come all the way up. Extend the arms up and over the head and down. So one more round, bringing the arms up, sitting back into chair pose, drawing that navel in, spine is long, hands to your heart, twist towards the right side, and even here, pressing into the leg, extend the crown of the head away from the hips. Bring some weight into that right foot and step the left foot back into our lunge. And then slowly bringing the hands to center, bringing the torso to the center. Extend those arms back. So staying at that diagonal. And then slowly, with your support of your core, begin to bring yourself up. Add the arms. Lift up. Bring both hands down to the mat. Left hand stays. Right arm reaches up into the twist. Maybe even feel as though you're gonna just lay back onto a couch or something a little more open and spacious here. Bring that top arm down, step it back, downward facing dog. Enjoy two more breaths here. Right foot reaches up to the sky. Hug that knee into the belly. Step forward, warrior or crescent pose as you reach both arms up. And then from here, we're gonna to begin to shift that torso forward and feel that weight coming into the right foot as you lift the left leg up. Either staying in warrior three, coming into standing splits, or any variation in between. From here, bring that left leg down, bring the hands down, fold and release. Slide the hands up onto the shins, lengthen the spine, and refold. Come all the way up, arms up and over the head, and down. Next breath, bring the arms up, and sit back, chair pose. So we've exchanged our plank and chaturangas for a whole lot of chairs today. So we're still getting that heat and that fire from those poses. Bring the hands into the heart. Begin to twist over that left leg, either hands to the outside of the leg or hooking your right elbow to the outside. Breathe in, 
Think about extending the crown of your head away from your hips. Bring weight into that left foot. Right foot's going to step back into the lunge. It's okay if you fall. Breathe in. And then with that support, we're going to slowly begin to turn our torso towards the center. Extend both arms back, staying at that diagonal. And then pressing into the feet, lifting up through our core, adding the arms, high lunge. Bring both hands down to the mat. Right hand will stay, left arm will reach up. And then if you wanna just take that right hand a little further away from the left, just make this a really spacious, really big, Twisting lunge. Bring the top arm down, step it back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and lift that left leg up to the sky. Hug the knee in, step forward. Warrior one or crescent lunge. Both arms extend up. Stay strong in the legs. We're gonna begin to shift the torso forward, bringing more weight into the left leg. Lift the right leg up. Warrior three or standing splits. Option to use props in either variation. And now bringing the leg, the hands down. Fold, Uttanasana. Press the hands into the shins, lengthen up halfway. And refold. Let's come all the way up. Extend the arms up over the head. Arms into the heart. And down. Next breath. Bring the arms up. Sit back, chair pose. So a little balance action with our chair pose. We're gonna come up onto our tippy toes. And just allow that rocking to act happen. And then allow yourself to settle in. Bring the hands to your heart. And see if you can sit down a little further. Maybe a little further. Any discomfort in the knees? Please don't go any further. But we're going to come all the way down onto our seat. Yeah. <laughs> Might not have been as graceful as you'd like, but with practice, it will get there. All right. So from here, bending both knees, feet flat on the mat, extending the arms out in front. Now let's bring our hands to our, our legs. Bringing the hands to um, both legs, sitting up tall. We're gonna round the lower back. And as if a magnet is pulling your lower back towards the ground, begin to rock back only to about the top of our waistband and then slide yourself forward. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Upper back stays long, lower back is beginning to round. So you're almost hollowing out your belly. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale, rest. You can also take the hands off the legs if you like.
but just playing with just a short distance right here, getting that action of scooping the belly, drawing the, the lower back towards the mat, and then without having to lift the feet off the mat, really engaging the core to lift you back up and to sit all the way up. Great job, everyone. Let's do two more of those. Exhaling as we roll back. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale. One more. Great job. Let's go ahead and sweep the legs behind you. First coming onto hands and knees. And then we're gonna come down onto our forearms. Coming into a forearm plank. So if this is not feeling great in your body today, you'd rather go into a full plank. So straightening the arms, feel free to go there. If straightening the legs isn't with you today, then taking the knees back and coming at a diagonal is gonna give you some weight that you can manage. Otherwise, curling the toes under, pressing the heels back, press down through the forearms. Feel a little rounding action in the upper back. Feel the navel and the core curling in. And then feel everything pressing back. Two more breaths here. Lower the knees, lower the pelvis, let the toes release, allow the spine to lengthen up, bring the crown of the head up towards the sky, sphinx pose. And then slide the hands back, forehead's gonna come down to the mat, Palms of the hands are going to come flat down on the mat as well, beside the body. On your next inhale, press into the hands, begin to lift the chest up, gaze is about three inches in front of you, deep breath in, and a deep breath out, lower everything down. On this next round, really engage the legs. So pointing your toes away. See if you can bring your pinky side of your toe a little bit closer towards the mat. Press into the hands. Inhale, rising. Exhale, hold. One more breath up. And then all the way down. We're going to do one more nice and slow like that, and then we're going to add some more arm variations. So pressing into the hands, feel anchored through the pelvis. Arms are extended back. Inhale, lifting, pressing the hands down. And then lower everything to the mat. So you can stay in this variation of locus. Otherwise, we're gonna move our arms up and down, uh, reaching in front, reaching in back, just adding a little bit more um, kind of core workout for the back side. So starting with our hands beside our legs, inhale to rise into locus, legs are down. Think about extending the crown of the head super long, and now floating those hands just off the mat. Take the arms out to a T. Bend those elbows coming into cactus arms. I want you to really lift those shoulders up and then slide the elbows back. From here, extend the arms forward. And then lower everything down to the mat. On our next breath, 
We're gonna lift those arms straight out in front. Chest is slightly lifted. Exhale, bend the elbows. Cactus arms, opening up the chest. Take and extend the arms out to a T. Sweep both arms back next to the legs. Release everything down. We've got two more rounds. When you're ready, extending the arms back, feet are anchored. Slowly taking the arms out to a T. Breath is even. Bend the elbows. Extend the arms overhead. Release everything down to the mat, soften. And then our last round, pressing down, beginning to lift those arms up, extend them out in front, bend the elbows, slide those shoulders away from the ears, keeping them away, extend the arms out to a T, take and reach the arms back towards the legs, no tension in the neck, Release everything down. You can bring forehead to the back of the palms or just turn one cheek to the mat. And then bringing both hands beside the chest, rising into a low cobra. So those shoulders roll back, elbows hug in, and then press down towards the feet. Feet are engaged. It might be a low cobra. You might feel a little bit more lift to rise into a higher cobra. From either place, begin to curl those toes under, lift up to hands and knees. Let's take it all the way back, downward facing dog. So just stretching everything out. Long arms, long legs, long spine. Bring both knees back down to the mat. Let's bring our feet in, uh, in front of us. And we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together as we started class. So feel the difference in this Bhattakonasana, this cobbler pose. A little bit more lift out of the hips, a little stronger back. And so with that stronger back, begin to tip yourself forward keeping that long spine. And when you feel as though you're gonna start rounding, stop right there. So long spines, inhaling, lifting up out of the hips. Exhale. One more breath like this. Come all the way up. We're gonna bring both legs out in front. Dandasana. Pressing down through the hips, sitting up nice and tall. From here, we'll bring our left leg in towards the body. Left foot to the inside or the outside of the knee. Right leg can stay long or curl under. We move into a twist. 
So left hand will come behind you, either to a block or to the mat. Press down and sit up nice and tall. And then we're going to take our right arm out to the side. And then wrapping that right arm around our left knee, hug that knee in and just feel that friction that is you're hugging the knee in. It's a little bit easier to sit up tall. You can press down through the hips. You can lift up through the spine, lift up through the crown of the head. If all things feel great, you can hook that elbow to the outside of the knee. And let's hold here for two more breaths. And then slowly unwinding, extending that left leg out, sitting up tall. We'll bring the right foot in. And again, choosing the placement that feels best in your body today, right foot to the inside or the outside of the knee. Left leg can stay long or curl under. Right arm is gonna come behind us helping to anchor and lift. Left arm will open out to the left side. And then wrapping that left arm around the knee. So hug in as you sit up a little taller. Gazes over to your right side. Inhale, press down and lift up. Exhale. With each breath, feel that lift, that rise of energy. As you exhale, feel that opening. And then as we come back to forward, we'll extend both legs out long. And now bringing that left knee in, we're gonna open the left knee out to the side. And if the knee doesn't come down to the mat, feel free to prop anything under. If you feel your hips are still tight in any of these poses, um, seated poses, feel free to bring a blanket or a block under the hips. So slowly turn your torso so that your heart is right over your right leg. Sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, begin to walk forward. Hands can be on either side of the leg, on the leg, grabbing the foot, but just go ahead and bow forward over your right leg. Enjoying another breath here. And we'll slowly walk ourselves back up. And switching sides. Drawing that right foot in, allowing the knee to open out to the side. And again, you're gonna twist just slightly to turn over that left leg, sitting up tall. And then finding that length over the leg as you bow forward. Chin can curl in.
One more breath here. And then rising up. Go ahead and bend both knees. We're gonna roll down onto our back. Walk the feet in close to the hips. Pressing the feet down. Go ahead and lift the hips up for bridge pose. And any variation that feels good in your body, if that's just letting the arms be beside the body, clasping the outer edges of the mat and rolling the shoulders in, or even clasping the hands under the body and lifting up. But again, feel those opposing energies that as you press down, you're able to open and lift into the front body. And we're going to stay here for three more full breaths. And then gently beginning to release hands out to the side, lowering the pelvis down to the mat. Pause for a moment. Feel the length in your spine. And we're going to pass through happy baby, bringing our knees in towards our chest, soles of the feet up towards the uh, ceiling, and then grabbing anywhere on the inner side of the leg, ankles, or feet. And then it's as if you're doing a squat in the air. So soles of the feet pointing towards the ceilings. Knees are going to go out wide. Entire lower back is pressing into the ground. Taking two more breaths here. And then we'll begin to set up for Shavasana. So releasing the legs long on the mat. Arms beside the body, adding any props to help you feel more comfortable in your space. And beginning with three full breaths, inhaling in through the nose, maybe exhaling through the mouth. Two more, just like that, big breaths. And just beginning to either soften the gaze or close the eyes. Using your breath, beginning at your toes, to just kind of feel what's going on in the body. Is there any tightness? Is there any congestion? Is there a place that needs your attention or needs to soften a little? And just with your awareness and with your breath, just moving into each of these parts from the toes, up the legs, through the pelvis and torso regions, through the arms, the neck, face, crown of head.
I'll keep time for our Shavasana. And we'll let you know. And we'll come back up. Breathing in and out. If you'd like to stay in Shavasana longer, feel free to. Otherwise, welcoming any movement into the body. Shifting to one side. Making your way up to seated. Thank you all for practicing with me today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste. Bye now.